Tragically, on Memorial Day, Monday, May 25th, George Floyd's life was taken from him in a chilling and shameful, cold-blooded murder committed right before our eyes. This has spurred a motivation of people all across our nation and around the world of all nationalities, faiths, political perspectives, for change and to protest the injustices against George Floyd and the African-American community. And as you know, we're dealing with this pandemic and we not only need a cure, a vaccine for the pandemic, but we also need a cure and a vaccine for institutional racism that exists. I want to announce that this Tuesday, I'm bringing forth a number of policy proposals that seek to fight racism and evaluate policing. These are on the agenda for the Riverside County Board of Supervisors meeting of June 9th. The first item is a resolution. The resolution condemns the murder of George Floyd. It states that we support the criminal charges brought against the four former officers of Minneapolis Police Department and seek justice to be done. We also recognize in the resolution that those actions do not represent the men and women that serve and protect their respective communities with the highest level of professionalism. It states as well that the county does not and will not tolerate nor accept in any way violent or disrespectful treatment of others that degrades dignity and disregards human life. The second item is to initiate a review of Riverside County's policing policies. This review, if approved, would be conducted by the Riverside County Executive Office and the Riverside County Sheriff's Department and will require a report within 90 days. The review would cover policing, policy and oversight, including use of force, community policing and crime reduction, training and education, officer and community wellness and safety. That, iso that item also includes recommendation that county staff and sheriff's department engage with the public through community forums. In addition, I am sending a letter of leadership to the leadership to support the fight against racism. Now I've had a preliminary conversation with our sheriff on these policy proposals and quite frankly, I'm very proud of our sheriff for what he did on Monday. The fact that there were protesters and there were peaceful protesters and we had a very organized sheriff's department and he went out there and met with the protesters and kneeled with the protesters in solidarity. Believe me, that made us all proud in the county of Riverside. We all need to be at the table. Most people are good. We want to take this time to review our policing procedures and recruitment and assess how we are doing and identify any opportunities for improvement. There's the bad apples in everything that we do. But I'm willing to say to you that I'm very proud of our county and the good work of our sheriff's department, but it doesn't hurt us to review and to see how we can reinvent ourselves for the betterment of humankind. 